Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walking. I'm back with another Faker and Order video. Today, I actually wanted to do something because I won. I need to finish grinding up these while the half uh, stamina is still up. And two, I wanted to actually show off what Chen Gong could do. So that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. So let's get into it. So what is Chen Gong, or who is Chen Gong, or why is Chen Gong is the better question. Um, this is Chen Gong. If you are familiar with Arash, he is similar in built in that Arash deals a lot of damage at the cost of sacrificing himself. Uh, but Chen Gong does the exact same thing, except for instead of killing himself, he kills whoever's the frontmost unit. So as you can see here, this is all a bunch of support units, all here in order to make uh, Chen Gong loop. Uh, I don't have Tamamo myself, so I'm always going to be picking a Tamamo friend. There's various different ways you can actually build it out. Um, I, For example, I could easily swap in Waver, and honestly, with Waver it'd be a lot easier. But I want to use two three stars in the video just to show like, hey, you could use three stars as well uh, with that. Even though one of them is extremely uh, limited. So this is kind of what you do. Um, you want to build up Chen Gong as crazy as possible. He needs NP gain, he needs um, buff to arts. He needs a lot. But he also needs some other support casters as well. So we go here. Go here. The second skill is the one that gives NP gain, so we leave it right there. We don't do anything else. Actually, I'm gonna use this. Just to chip buff him up that much more. And then we're gonna go like this. It really does not matter what the chain is. Now the idea if you're about to see how much NP he's about to gain back from this. Right here. Sacrifices Tamamo. He got 48% NP. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Um, goes in here. Now here's the other part. So if you don't know this about Nero Bride, she actually recently someone actually reminded me, but this one skill one gave her a buff. So this gives 30% NP and it gives um, NP gain up. The NP gain is what's actually allowing Chen Gong to do what he does. You see here, go here, go here, perfect. And all he needs for this one is more than 55%, which he's going to very easily do. See, the thing that's so good is that because he kills whoever's in front, the next support caster can just buff him up uh, and then basically be done. And once you're done with what you're doing, you're gone, you're out of here. Now, obviously, if you had Castoria, it'd be way easier to kind of pull off. Because you only really need one Castoria, but um, Castoria's not in North America, so I'm using Tamamo. The only problem is is that Tamamo, uh, for, if you don't have her yourself, you have to wait for the free SSR ticket if you want to use her, or you have to hope that your friends use her. And unfortunately for me, I don't have a lot of friends that use her, so this is basically goodbye. And that's basically a full loop, and that's basically Chen Gon looping in a nutshell. You want to give him as much arts and MP gain to so get him kind of going. I'm using Kaleidoscope because that's kind of the only CE I have, but there's plenty of other CEs you can use that are at least not actually a lot, but they're ones that are based around having starting NP and end game, NP gain and art stuff. Um, I unfortunately don't have them. Like, if I had the Max and Limit Broken version of the Ilya CE from... Not Ilya, uh, Miyu CE from... Okay, whatever that was is now gone. Um, the Miyu CE from Prisma Ilya, but I unfortunately only have one copy. And with my current setup, I can't really do anything with that, so... Yeah, so let me quickly go through these. Uh, let me see... And there's a bunch of other units. What matters most for, like I said, if you have Waver, it's probably much better. The one thing that's probably negative for where... It, I can't use that friend, unfortunately. Um, the only negative about Chen Gon farming is that it can cost... It can be very expensive, even for... Like, I'm using two threes here, but this is a five, a five, and a five here that are all basically decked out. Um, the only reason his skills aren't a little bit better for me is that I just didn't have time to do it, and I felt it was enough with just level one. But if I wanted to be a little bit more consistent, I think I could increase their stuff a little bit better. Like I said, it's very expensive. Um, there's no denying that. It's really more for people who have already kind of have stuff set up for other forms of auto- not auto farming. 
for uh, looping, and they just kind of want to try, try something else. If you want, <laughs> if you want rush and looping, if you want constant death in all your loops, then you can't go any farther than Chen Gong, and it's also really funny. You can also change up your outfit as well, because there's an outfit that gives um, NP game and other stuff, but uh, I'm not using it. I'm using the one that switches, but there's also one that gives you like 20% starting NP. Go here, and um, I should have more than enough, I think, with this, because I'm now in a weaker stage, but we'll actually see. So if you don't know how NP gain works, I think it's basically that for every hit after overkill, I'm gaining stuff that charges my NP. See, so there you go, I have to be 1%. Bye, Tamamo. It was nice hanging out with you, but now you're gone. Oh man, these dudes. And obviously you can probably... I haven't made the decision yet if I'm going to um, grail up Chen Gong a little bit. I did with uh, Arish because I love him so much. Chen Gong, I might do the same, to be honest, because it is really funny to see him do this. It really all is kind of dependent on... Are you someone that doesn't have a lot of... By the way, also, if you're fighting writers, this is not very effective at all. Similar to how Arash can't kill uh, Lancers, he can't really do much against Riders unless he has, like, the most crazy buffs applied to him. Like, just insane amounts of it. Okay, these dudes are gonna be kinda easy to deal with here. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Hit him up. Hit him up, hit him up, hit him up. Hmm. <laughs> it really is a lot of fun for me. It's also such a simple animation of just like throwing the arrow back. And then all the ones that survive are the three and the under three casters. If you're also wondering how to get them, you have to hit the free to play um, banner with friend points. I got very lucky that I got mine to MP5, because the other ones I did not get to MP5. They were actually very hard to get to any- that's very hard to get dupes of them. <laughs> Until I get more friend points, that is. Thank you for the mana prisms. Going, y'all. Let's see, we're gonna find another Tomomo friend somewhere here. Like I said, for me, this is the hardest part of actually looping with him. When Castoria comes out, you'll have a little bit more fun with him. And the best part is, is that if you like Chen Gong, this is kind of the way you play him. <laughs> so you get to have the best of both worlds. Let me see. Me too, sorry. By the way, rip to all my uh, Tamamo friends who died. Whose Tamamos died to in order for Chen Gong to live. To loop, that is, I should say. Yeah, and now I'm just kind of waiting for basically Lotto season, I think, to grind out the rest of them. I didn't bother too much grinding this out, because I know that Lotto is better for me when it comes to um, grinding out characters' levels. Oops. Now you know what time I record stuff at. Which is at 3.45 a.m. Don't tell anyone I live like this. I probably don't need to bring him in, but I'm going to bring him in. Because I'm like fighting the weakest of the weeks. Let's go here. He should be able to just completely wipe the floor with this. He should have easy 60% starting MP. I guess. Really? All because I didn't use the, um, the, uh, the attack buffer. Like I said, every little bit of things uh, kind of counts towards stuff. Every little bit helps. Right here. Right here. Doesn't Miro kind of sound like... No, never mind. I was gonna say, she sounds like Mei from Guilty Gear, the Tatsugeki. But maybe I'm just... <laughs> Maybe I've just been to get Gate one too many times, and I'm starting to hear her voice everywhere. 
バイバイ必要な犠牲でしたバイバイ I could have listened to her voice lines but I chose to end it quickly and I think with this last one that's gonna be the end of the video so thank you very much for watching Ken Jengong Ken Jengong Chengong farming. I think it's a lot of fun. It does require a decent amount of investment. So don't be too afraid of your being like, oh, you can't really do it. You can do it with some、um, lesser servants. It's just going to take you a while to kind of build up to get kind of fully up and running. Like,、um, it's just going to take a while. So, yeah, that's the end of today's video. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Chengong, take us out, my, my friend. Goodbye, everyone. You guys have a good day. <laughs>「気策冷徹をもって終わらせましょう」「炸裂するは気策に続き」必要な犠牲でした「なかなか面白い症状だった」